Hello everyone, Mark Major here. I am at the studio known as the Action Figuratorium. And um, I'm going to be looking at more Kickstarters today for action figures. I know it seems like this channel has turned into marketing guy analyzing Kickstarters of action figures, but there's a lot of cool stuff coming out. And there's something to be said about covering all of these because I would much, much rather talk about um, these toy companies than to do yet another like sadness video involving HasLab. So today we're going to be looking at Almighty Legends as well as Biblical Adventures. That's right, there are two Bible action figure Kickstarters launched almost on the same day. What are the chances of that? Don't know, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys need to stick around. All right, I am not sure exactly where to begin on this, um, but Let's queue up one of these Kickstarters. Let's start with Almighty Legends, okay? Um, and I don't really know anything uh, about the guy who made this, who created this, his company, and, um, and who he is. But uh, let's see here. We're going to... We're going to uh, we're going to do a little bit of playing of the video. So I'm hearing some choir music. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. If you guys are okay with turning it down. All right, we've got some. Uh, it looks like these are angel action figures. There's an Azrael. There's um. There's a Gabriel, you know, it's just like a dude with wings. It's like a cool armor guy, cool wings. There's um, there's some four horsemen guys, conquest, war. Uh, not sure if some of these are picks of toys. There's that thing with the exploding diagram of how the toy is made. Azrael, Gabriel, unique wing articulation. I like that. I like that they've got unique wing. Look at that. There's a guy bending the wing. Oh, that's actually cool. That's actually cool. That'd be cool if that was an add-on piece for Mythic Legion characters. You know, they made all those bird men and uh, they, you know, they have wings. So these guys are trying to, um, they're trying to get to $97,000, $97,000 with this. And um, let's scroll down and um, we don't need any more of that choir. It wasn't anyone talking anyways, it was just background music. So. So here are the characters, but this is just artwork of them. This isn't the actual action figure. This is what they look like in a sort of a 3D rendered JPEG. So this is kind of like when they print them out or produce them, they should look like that. Um, here's the... Uh, packaging that the figures come in. They come in looks like kind of a Bible thing. Uh, five by seven inch premium collector's cards. Be honest, don't care. But that's a thing that people do is like to add values. They add cards. I've seen that with a lot of those comic book crowdfunding campaigns. You know the one. I'm not going to say who. Doesn't matter. Pick one. And um, look, there's some digital posters. 11 by 17 JPEG for $15. Mm. 
Like when you see a guy's face crunch together to force a smile. I'm not sure that that's cool. Um, so here's what you can get. For 15 bucks, of course, they, everybody's doing that pledge $10 or a dollar to show you love it. And, you know, maybe, maybe I should. Uh, 15 bucks for a digital poster. I assume that it's probably 300 or 600 DPI, meaning you could print it. Right? If it's 72 DPI and it's 15 bucks, that would be unfair. We should have someone check that out. These guys are uh, the action figures. The winged action figures are six and a half inches, so they're kind of bigger sort of dudes if you're into the one twelfth scale, or maybe they're uh, just a slightly different scale. So 45 bucks for a single figure, and um, it does have wings. It does have soft goods. It does have accessories, an extra, looks like a head and hands and some weapons. I'm looking at the Az Azrael. Gabriel. Um, are these just reuses of the same armor, different painted? The wings are all a reuse. It looks like some different armor. There's a wing pack. See, 12 bucks. If those wings fit on Mythic Legions, I would, dude, for 12 bucks a set, I'd buy a couple packs. I'd get like three packs. Somebody in the Legion shop needs to make some uh, some generic wings. Um, this is kind of cool. You can get a blank buck, just a generic character. I mean, I don't know. For $22, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, you know, if you look at, like, all the characters that... Um, was it Storm Collectibles does? They're all just naked beefcake dudes with a loincloth. I don't, it's no different than this. Uh, St. Michael, St. Raphael, Famine, Conquest, War, got some villains, some head packs, 25 bucks. Um, okay, so it, they're, they're just cool action figures of, of angels and sort of, not demons, but, you know, uh, bad guys. I don't know. I'm not putting up, I'm not giving it a thumbs down by any means. I think it's kind of cool. I think the figures, I don't want to say that they're overpriced because, you know, most of these fantasy figures, if you go by the Mythic Legions as a scale, are about that price. The Mythic Legions, the stock guys are in the pre order are 37. Look at this, this is just going up. Um, let's, um, Let's move over to this other Kickstarter, Biblical Adventures. Okay, so what's interesting about this, folks, is that the guy who is doing these um, works at Mythic Legions, or Four Horsemen, I should say, and um, he used to work at NECA. He's a sculptor, or did sculpting. He's now like a guy who's a, a liaison with a Chinese fact factory, so he helps get these factories set up, that kind of thing. He's... Um, pretty crucial in the supply chain of uh, getting these action figures created for different companies. He also does some, uh, does some work for some indie companies. He did like the Plunderlings, which I backed. It's magnetic action figures of goblins and hobgoblins. I think, it's a, I think it was a cool thing to back. So he's only trying to get 80,000. And now 97,000, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. He uh, said that he's only going to be doing 30 days. The other guys are doing 45. So the uh, Archangels all have an extra 15 days to try and hit their goal, but they're also asking for a little bit more money. He's already up to almost $30,000, and it's pretty close. So um, he wanted to do Bible characters a long time ago. And uh, he's finally in a spot in his life where he's got the time, the bandwidth. He's got a little bit of the clout. He's been on some uh, podcasts. I was just watching him announce the upcoming Kickstarter when he was on this uh, Dork Lair stream. And I found out some interesting things about him. Um, I've watched him to do also on the Four Horsemen live streams. He's one of the hosts of that. But those guys, when they're doing their live stream... 
they always make it seem like they don't want to be there. They're like, oh, we're, we're on camera again. They should find some guys who really want to be on camera if that's the case, if you don't. Um, just a, a you know, way of, it's just going to bring more people in his enthusiasm. Enthusiasm sells. So let's look and see what he's got. He's doing four waves. Each wave has six characters. And then I think there's like a bonus character. So here's the six guys. Up here, I'm, and there's the bonus character, and we're scrolling through. So he's, and these are six inch figures, by the way. And for the most part, they're a generic human buck with a different head and clothes, just so we're clear on that. This guy is a Jesus. He's got um, beams of light coming out of him. It might be cool if those lit up or something. To me, it looks a little weird, but I don't know. It's a cool thing. If you look at this picture, it's, it's kind of a good recreation of this picture. If that's what you're going off after, that's what you're going after. Uh, then there's an African American, or a uh, black uh, Jesus, uh, you know, and uh, he's got a purple robe. Purple is the color of royalty, and the reason for that is in ancient times, Greek times, purple dye came from uh, this type of mollusks that you have to crack open and... Uh, get the inside to uh, get this what becomes the pigment for um, for dyeing purple so it's very expensive that's why it's associated with royalty then we have this guy he looks like kind of a barbarian version of the big Lebowski it's, it's kind of what I'm thinking Bar Barbarolowski this guy looks extremely cool and for a fact I'm definitely gonna back this I'm definitely gonna get this one guy if nothing else this looks cool. However, um, he's a statue man, just to be sure. People are clearing that because nobody would go out with copper armor. This is what happens to the copper after a while as it turns this color. This is what happened to the Statue of Liberty. It's copper coated and starts off with the copper look that we all know, the color of copper, and then it turns into this. Nobody would go out with actual copper armor because as soon as you hit it, it would melt. All right, so that guy is genuinely cool, and it looks like it's modeled after this um, statue. Then here's just another generic buck with a different head and wings. This guy, to me, looks like Steve Vai. If you're looking for a Steve Vai action figure, you should get this guy. And uh, then there's just like a demon. It comes with a couple different heads. It's okay. It's modeled after some figure. What I like about this is he's actually going off of some reference. Um, this, to me, looks like um, Albrecht Durer, uh, who is a uh, Dutch painter from like the 1490s. And uh, here's a bonus. It's a hologram. <laughs> hologram uh, Jesus. Um, and Star Wars for a while did these um, clear blue hologram figures, and so it's kind of a joke here. All right, then he's got some other like little um, tchotchkes you can get. There's, um, I was going to call it a Holy Grail. It's some kind of um, tabernacle um, sort of, you know, Jewish ceremony piece. And uh, this looks like wave two up here. It looks real similar. It's just a different Jesus in a different cloth. Um, the same armor as the statue. Same demon, different head. Same angel, different head. Same Jesus, different robe. Same thing as the statue guy, just with armor, just painted different and different head. Um, guy in a friar cloak with a, with a baby. You know, nothing really outrageous or rare. Uh, but I think if you were someone trying to get sort of collectible... Uh, judeo-christian figures i think um there's not a lot of options this looks like some kind of a moses look there's a there's a charlton heston version i think that's great and um here's some more of this tchotchke stuff and then we don't know what the other figures are because they're um they're still locked so i'm going to look along here on the right see what the pledges are 24 dollars for a figure for an army builder you can get the um you can get the Angel Army Builder, the Steve Vai for $24. You can get the Demon Figure for $24. You can get Translucent Jesus for $25. You can get Jesus for regular Jesus for $30. Black Jesus for $30. John the Baptist, i.e. Big Lebowski as a Barbarian for $30. Uh, 
um, just give them a white Russian. You know what I'm talking about. 30 bucks for Statue Man, and then the, then the all-in. So the most expensive cats are, uh, are $30, and the cheapest ones are like 24 So not, a, not that much of a range. If you're going to get one for 24 30 bucks isn't that much more. Um, I don't know. This, this I think, is going to be one of those things that, uh, that people are going to uh, maybe do what I'm going to do. They're going to find one of these characters that they think is really cool. Uh, regardless of their religious background, like um, people might think that this demon's really cool and they're looking for that kind of stuff. Could also maybe, um, yeah, it could also be kind of like a Japanese demon too. Somebody just might think that this translucent Jesus is super cool and they just want it. I don't think there's going to be a lot of people who are buying this for the Bible aspect, but I think there's a lot of action figure collectors out there who are aware of um, Chris, who is the guy behind D13 Toys, as I mentioned, who are going to find out about this, and they're going to check it out, and they're going to cherry-pick something off the, the list of figures that they actually identify with and think is cool. So I think that of these two campaigns, whew, man, Bible stuff is a tough sell. I, As toys, they're, they're just not... They're just not cool. Um, this is a Mad Max guy, and this dude, this dude's cool. But um, but Jesus is tough. They uh, they do them as a gimmick with this company called Accoutrements. They make a Jesus and a um, a Moses action figure. Both these they're in boxes somewhere. Not going to pull them out. Uh, there is another company out there called Bible Quest, and I actually bought. In the box, it's the three wise men and three camels. And I just thought that they were great stock NPCs because they had soft goods, they had unique faces, they had interesting uh, camels that came with them. They had a few um, extra little pieces that they came with. They were, they were good sort of extra army building stock extras, guys in a, in a crowd of... Uh, you know, Middle Eastern dudes on a, like an Indiana Jones set. So, um, so they're worth getting for that. But I really think that the Bible stuff is may have a built-in audience. It's just tough to reach them. You know, you're you're not going to find these Bible people through regular toy channels. And um, I think both of these are uh, are going to be tough. Eighty thousand for Chris to get his. Uh, Biblical Adventures going. Is that the best name he could have come up with? Mm, maybe. Almighty Legends, they need 97,000. They already got 24 backers. They're already up to 7,000. It just dropped um, a couple hours ago. I watched this thing drop. And um, I don't know. It's going to be a stretch for both of these. It's going to be a stretch for both of these. We're going to have to maybe come back when they close and do a wrap-up. I'm having a hard time making a prediction on any of this stuff. However, I think that when you go to try to find these archangels from Almighty Legends later, like in a couple years from now, you see... You know, maybe this guy or maybe, you know, this guy or something. You, you see one of these on eBay for like 200 bucks, and you're like, man, I could have could have had that. So that's all I got for, uh, for this kind of, um, you know, look at these two, two campaigns. I think they um I think they both have a shot, but it's going to be tough. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment if you think they're going to make make these targets. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.